back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Today, I'm bringing you guys, or actually, I should say, those of you that follow me on Instagram and follow closely know that I am a coffee, I would say addict, but I'm gonna say lover because I make coffee every single morning. And I don't just make regular coffee, I also make espresso. For those of you that don't know, I'm originally from Cuba, so I have that Cuban blood that just craves that strong, coffee like if you've ever had a shot of cuban coffee then you know what i'm talking about today i'm going to be putting one of my favorite items which is my espresso machine to the test i'm going to show you the ins and outs of that machine i'm going to show you how it works how much it costs why i love it so much so this video is pretty much for those of you that are always asking how i make my coffee what i put in it how much of it do you make what machine do you use etc etc basically this video is for you for those of you asking those questions so i hope you find this video helpful if you're in the market for a new coffee machine or i should say an espresso machine um yeah if it is make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become part of this big family that we are here so with that being said let's jump right into the review okay you guys so here is the espresso machine that i use every single day um, it is from the brand the Lonnie, and i really have zero complaints so far this thing i've had for actually a mother a mother's day it'll be a year because that was my mother's day gift last year so yeah, I can say I've had it for a full year and it's still going strong. And I use it every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. Um, when you're Cuban and you have Cuban family come over, everybody needs a little cafecito. So I end up making a lot of coffee. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It comes with a tank in here. Um, so here, I'm gonna pull it out. So it has a tank in here, a water tank, so that you don't have to be filling up the water or pouring water in it every single time, which is awesome. It was definitely a must when I was doing research before I got this one. So when that's done, all you have to do is pull this out, refill the tank, and pretty much just put it back in here. And it lasts me a good, pretty, a good little bit, so you're not having to refill that too often. So something that I really like about this machine is that it comes with two coffee filters. So if you flip these over, you can see that one has a two scoop sign and basically that means it will do a double shot of espresso and then you have one with a single scoop and that's just a single espresso shot so i really like that it comes with both of these you're not having to invest in a separate one once you buy the machine and if you look closely over here you can actually store these within the machine they just kind of slide in like that and it's just really nice because you can just close it, put them away, and then you can access the filters whenever you need them. They're right there handy. So this right here is the coffee filter holder. It looks like this. Something that I really liked about this machine when I was um, looking is that this coffee filter holder is really nice and sturdy it has a really nice weight to it so it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart after using it for a, a couple of months so this one's got a nice little weight to it which makes it really nice and sturdy and if you look closely these little metals have some resistance on them to keep the coffee filter from coming out something that i found in the past from um, just other espresso machines is that when you would go to clean it and if you make espresso a lot you know what i'm talking about you kind of go to tap it and get the coffee out and everything would just fall out this one will keep the coffee filter in here so you have to give it some love to get it in there and you hear it pop and then that's when you know it's not coming out so you can clean it without the coffee filter coming out to me that was a big deal um, because it is something that i use on the daily so i wanted to make it as efficient as possible so that's a plus for this machine so the machine has a steam option and then it has on and it has the coffee it also has a side frother which is awesome for those of you that love lattes and just love a good froth with your coffee it's really really easy to use it's super user friendly and it's easy to clean which is also a plus for me when i was looking for one this swings out of the way if you don't want it sticking out and you can kind of pull it out whenever you're going to use it once you go to clean it all you have to do is rotate it this way pull it out 
and then you have the little metal piece that comes out and you also have the rubber tip and I like to take these off kind of wipe here and clean these and that is just that like it's so easy to clean these and I really like that about this I'm gonna show you the machine in action and I'm gonna make a single scoop of espresso and I will show you how it sounds what the coffee looks like um, I really like the quality of the coffee and how it makes it I love love the little foam that it makes on top it's just really nice quality it comes out like a professional espresso shot and that is amazing for the price of this machine this machine also came with this scoop that I keep inside my coffee. It looks like this, and one of these is the perfect scoop for a shot of coffee. So if you're making a double shot, then you know you need two of these scoops, which I find is really handy. And also, on the back of the scoop, you have the presser, so you can press it down before you put it in the machine and just kind of condense and press in the coffee. So I'm gonna put some in here. I usually do this over the sink to not make a mess, but I want to demonstrate you guys how easy it is. And then you take the back and you just push in. And I like to kind of wiggle it. And then it looks like that. It's really nice and flat. You don't wanna pack it too much. I've done that in the past. It was a mistake. Don't overpack it. Just do however much is in the scoop and that'll be a perfect amount for a shot of espresso. So it's really easy to put the coffee filter holder in here. When I first got the machine, it was really hard to get it in there. It had a lot of resistance, but over time it has kind of like loosened up a little bit. So it's really easy to put it in here now. Okay, so what I like to do um, is turn it on and if you look here it has an on button and it also has a ready button so when this turns green that means your coffee is ready to go and you can just start making your coffee something else that i really like about this machine is that once it's ready you can keep making as many shots of espresso as you want the machine is heated up that means your water is ready to go so what i like to do when people are over is i'll put it in the ready position once it says it's ready to go all i do is switch out the coffee filter pour in some new coffee and just keep repeating and you can make as many shots in a row as you want which is pretty cool so what I usually like to do is have a little cup. Um, this is an espresso cup size, so it's really tiny and it really is the perfect size for the right amount of espresso. So I'm gonna put it under here so that you guys can see how much I fill it up to. And I want you to really just see how the coffee comes out and that foam, that beautiful foam that forms on top. So if you saw the ready, light came on which means that i'm good to go and my coffee is ready so i will turn this knob into the coffee position and then i will stop it once it's there again i'm putting it back on the on position and you can just see that foam oh my goodness it's so beautiful every single time i usually let it drip just a little bit and what i like to do is take some paper towels because i like to keep my machine as clean as possible i like to put some paper towels right under the cup as i take it out so that i'm not making a big mess so now i can remove my coffee filter holder um, like I said, if you were going to make more coffee, you can see the ready light is still on. So all I would do is remove this bad boy, pour in some more new coffee in here, pop it back in, and repeat the process and just keep making shots without having to wait for it to heat up like we did just now. Now I wanted to show you up close just how nice and how thick the foam that this machine makes. I know that's a big part of the espresso machine i feel like when you're looking for that right machine you want to make sure that it makes the right kind of espresso just like you would get it at a fancy little coffee shop or um, starbucks etc you want it to make the right kind of foam so i wanted to get close and with a spoon i will show you guys just how nice 
it's really, really, really nice. And you can totally tell I am a coffee lover. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how the frother works. For those of you that really like froth, I know my mother-in-law loves it when she comes over. This is like her favorite part. I myself am not a huge froth person, but I just can't get over how um, well this machine makes the coffee, like the coffee quality and how it tastes and the smoothness and just how it comes out with this machine is so comparable to the way more expensive machines that are um, on the market. So I'm gonna take some milk and I'm gonna show you how this bad boy works. So I've got a small cup. I actually got a clear cup so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And normally when you're gonna make the froth, you're basically going to turn your knob over to the steam position because you want the froth to be getting ready. And again, it's the same thing. It's gonna say on and once it switches to ready, you can kind of hear it steaming in there. Once it says it's ready, then we can begin to froth. Here on the side, you have your knob for the froth and our ready light just came on. So I'm going to take the cup and as you can hear it, it's bubbling up in there and all you do is pour your milk in and then you can start frothing. And just like that, you have a full cup of really nice froth. You could tell the, I don't know if you remember, but the milk was way down here. So all of this is just a really nice and foamy, frothy milk. So those of you that like your coffee with froth, what I would do is just pour in my coffee. There you have it. As easy as that. I am obviously not a barista. I don't know what I'm doing. I just go by flavor and what I've seen that people like. I myself am not picky as long as it's strong coffee and it tastes good, then that's all I go for. So if you like froth, then you're definitely gonna like this machine because it makes exceptional. It makes exceptional froth. And if you like really nice espresso coffee, which who doesn't, then you're gonna love this machine. Cheers. Also, if you have, I forgot to mention, if you do have a larger cup that you'd like to put under here, this comes off so that you can fit a taller cup down here, which is really nice. This little metal tray comes out so that you can easily clean it. I don't know if you can tell already, but I'm kind of a clean freak, so I like to have my machines in really nice shape and clean. Just kind of show them off. <laughs> so I really like that feature. And with this, you can kind of keep it really nice and clean because all of this comes off and it's removable. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of one of my favorite and mostly used items in the house. Um, if you are a coffee lover, I know you're gonna appreciate this video because I definitely looked around and watched so many videos when I was looking for my espresso machine. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Take care, bye guys.